Senator John Enzine was a Republican of Nevada, and in 2011, he resigned because of a scandal that he was involved in. Now, let me go ahead and give you the new information that we just learned today about the specifics of that scandal, because, boy, is it a doozy. <laughs> it's fascinating, and you'll see the level of hypocrisy that we're dealing with here. So, Talking Points Memo reports, quote, Enzyme slept with a top aide's wife and then lobbied to get the aide a cushy job in order to keep the affair secret. Oh, come on, dude. I mean, this guy managed to set up a situation which is like a fucking movie. I mean, it's like a drama show, right? You're boning your top aide's wife, and then when your top aide finds out about it, you say, Look, man, what do you want? What do you need for me to shut you up? You want a cushy job? You want a mill a year? I'll call all the executives I know because of corruption and legalized bribery in politics, and I'll try to hook you up. In fact, that's exactly what he did. They say, quote, The source of all Enzyme's troubles was his two-year affair with Cynthia Hampton, who was married to Doug Hampton, one of his top Senate aides. After Doug Hampton confronted Enzyme about the affair in 2008, Enzyme scrambled to find Hampton a lucrative consulting job in exchange for his silence. Enzyme's parents also gave $96,000 to Cynthia Hampton and her family as a gift. Now, even the family is trying to uh, cover that up after the fact. They're like, no, it wasn't to keep them quiet or anything. It was a severance package? Yeah, I'm sure it had nothing to do with the fact that uh, Enzyme was boning this woman. Of course not. That's just a coincidence. Now, uh, according to the Ethics Committee, they recommended that Enzyme be brought up on charges because you can't do this. I mean, so there's bribery involved here. There's actual corruption, like not just the corruption that we've legalized in the system, which we all know about and we talk about on a daily basis in American politics, but actual corruption that you could prosecute in court, and there's political favors and multiple rules, ethics rules broken here, so they could have brought him up on charges, but the Justice Department declined to go after him. And come to find out, quote, one of the justice investigators had a previous connection to Enzyme. Lanny Brewer, head of the department's criminal division during the Enzyme probe, had formerly worked as a defense lawyer in the senator's campaign before he took his new post in the department. Now, on that front as well, uh, people are trying to cover it up and they're saying, foul play? Looking out for his buddy? No, that didn't happen, because that would never happen in American politics and in the American justice system. They say that later on he recused himself, but get this, they say he played, quote, a small part still in the investigation. Yeah, I'm sure that he didn't look out for his buddy. I mean, again, this is such a classic Washington story because they do the most brazen things and then they have, like, the dumbest attempts to cover it up and they expect people to believe it. We don't believe it. We know you're a scumbag. We know everything you did and we know you're guilty in every way, shape, and form. Now, on this story, I want to leave you with this. In 1998, after Bill Clinton admitted to the Lewinsky affair, Enzyme called on him to resign, saying, quote, he has no credibility left. Now, also, in 2004, Enzyme supported a constitutional amendment banning gay marriage, and he said the following, quote, marriage is the cornerstone on which our society was founded. Oh, is it really? Is it really? Uh, for those who say that the Constitution is so sacred that we cannot or should not adopt the Federal Marriage Amendment, I would simply point out that marriage and the sanctity of that institution, the sanctity of it, predates the American Constitution and the founding of our nation. Interesting advice. Why didn't you take it? So here we have another Republican who claims to be a family values Republican, who claims that uh, marriage is, is sacred and it's a cornerstone of America and 
a cornerstone of society and yap, 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 yap. It's all bullshit because he was boning his top aide's wife and then attempting to cover it up. So please, spare me with your moralizing. You're full of shit just like all the other Republicans.